What's going on in here? We're making Yeah, what are the bats having for dinner? Some cantaloupe and some stone fruit. Yummo. Geez, they eat well, don't they? And they're called Voogie Vores. Voogie Oh, Frugie Vores. That's right. These bats are feeding a fruit bat. So, Luca, what a bat! What a bats called? What what a what a bats eat? Boogie boys. Boogie boys. <laughs> what are they really called, Jack? Frugivores. Uh, Frugivores. Frugivores. So frugivorous animals eat fruit, and the fruit bats are at the back. That's pretty much all they eat. Oh, and nectar and pollen. So what are you making there, Jacques? What's that you're making? That's it. What's it smell like? It smells like cake. Mm, would you eat it? Yeah, if I was a bat, I would. Mm. I wish I was. Very sweet. We've got a real sweet tooth. The fruit bats. Boys, are you going to come help me feed the bats? Yes. Let's go. Someone's already coming over to say hello. This is Petrie, and Petrie was born here at Wildlife Exposure Headquarters. She's been partly hand reared by myself and comes out to kinders and events quite regularly. So she's coming over to check out that nectar mix. Look at that. Really long tongue. See that long tongue? Quite a long tongue. They'll use to reach inside flowers to lick up the nectar and pollen and also to slurp up the juices in the fruit. Mm. These creatures are seed dispersers and pollinators and are vital for the genetic health of plants. Without them, we wouldn't have some of the oldest forests in the world. Flying fox are highly intelligent social animals and spend their days in large groups roosting in trees, called camps. Bats are the only mammals that can sustain flight and their wings are made from a thin membrane of skin. These are grey-headed flying fox, which are a type of mega bat. More closely related to primates than they are other bats, such as micro bats, which we get here living on the property and I might be lucky enough to introduce you to. And contrary to popular belief that fruit bats and other bats are full of diseases and really dirty animals, they're actually really clean. But how do they stay clean, boys? It's a fun fact we share with you. They wee. They what? They wee. On themselves. A wee shower. It does sound disgusting and it doesn't it makes them smell pretty bad, but it's actually very sterile. Uric acid kills germs. So it's a way for them to sterilize themselves, basically. If they've got any cuts or scratches on their wings, uh, it disinfects them. So as gross as it sounds, it's actually a really clever way to stay clean without having to have a bath or shower. What do you think, boys? A shower! I prefer a shower. Despite some of their unpleasant habits, these animals are a keystone species. And what's really concerning is that in the last century, gray-headed flying fox and speckled flying fox populations have decreased by around 95%. The harsh reality is without these animals, we wouldn't have the forests we know today in Australia and around the world for future generations. Hey boys, do you know why bats hang upside down? Why? It's to save energy. If you get tired, do you have to lie down? Yeah. yeah. So if you're a bat, hanging in a tree is a great way of conserving energy. Oh, what's she doing? 
Oh, not a wee shower today. That time she's just did a little wee and a little shake off at the end. Do you shake off when you go to the, do, do a wee? No. <laughs> I don't know who's more entertaining, the bats or these two ding bats. <laughs> Unlike micro bats, mega bats have quite good eyesight but mainly rely on their sense of smell to detect ripe fruits and flowers they love to eat. Boys, do you think we should check our bat box? Yeah. We have micro bats living on the property here, and we have this little box in the tree, which a family uses quite regularly. They're Gould Blossom Bats. Could be a great opportunity to show you the difference between micro bats that are small and the mega bats that are big. Set up the ladder to crawl up and have a peek inside the bat box to see if the micro bats are sleeping in there today. Micro bats, being different to mega bats, do not eat fruit. They actually eat something else. What do they eat, Jar? They eat insects. And what do we call an animal that only or predominantly eats insects? Insectivores. Insectivores. Good one. <laughs> Ah, we've got micro bats. And what do we call an animal that eats insects like a micro bat, Lukey? Do you remember what they're called? Uh, no. Insectivores. Good one, Jar. An insectivore. Yeah. It looks like that's yeah. something we've got to write. Yeah. So they're great to have here because they fly around in the evenings and they would be eating moths, <laughs> mosquitoes, and beetles and bugs. One's waking up. Are they awake? No wonder. We should let them go back to sleep, shouldn't we? But let me see. All right, we're going to let them go back to sleep. They are yes. nocturnal. What does nocturnal mean? If you come out at nocturnal, nighttime. Yeah, I got some buddies that are nocturnal. Shout out. Can you see them in there? Can you see yeah. them? Yeah. Have another look. Look, little tiny micro bats. They're so cute. These little critters make up around 17% of all mammals on Earth. I hope you enjoyed our bat video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, share with any friends or family you think may be interested in what we're doing, and take care of yourselves out there and look out for others. Thanks for watching.